Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Jana Jabin Azhari. Matric number 1928. So today I'm going to present about my FIP project which is Molecular Dynamic Simulation Study of Ion Exchange Membrane for Fuel Cell Application. Okay, for introduction, Potent Exchange Membrane Fuel Cell has received increasing attention and used widely for vehicles, mobile electronic and other applications. The performance of PEMFC can be greatly improved by the chemical structure of its membrane. The PEM membrane plays an important role in separating the electrodes and maintaining high intensity photon conductivity. Thus, the membrane are synthesized through simulation method for molecular dynamic study. All right, for problem statement, molecular system in fuel cell membrane has numerous particles. Thus, it is impossible to determine the properties of such complex system experimentally. Molecular dynamic modeling and simulation of proton exchange membrane can supplement theory and experimentation, thus improving scientific method. It can capture the position and motion of every atom at every point in time, which is very difficult with any, with any experimental technique. All right. Okay, for objective, first is to synthesize proton exchange membrane or fuel cell by using molecular dynamic simulation and then to study the, the dynamic properties of ions in proton exchange membrane. Okay, for scope and limitation of study, for molecular dynamic simulation, it consists of different types of membrane, which is do, nafion, and acetex, and then large scale atomic molecular massively parallel simulator, which is NAM, will be used, and also other software such as visual molecular dynamic. Ovito, Mercury, and also GeoGebra. The limitation is that the study just focus on the proton exchange membrane only. All right. For dynamic property study, the energy minimization and energy process will be included. And then density of membranes at different temperature, which is 300 Kelvin, also 350 Kelvin, and also diffusion coefficients of ions at different temperature. The limitation is that it requires a longer period of time and high performance computer. Okay, for methodology, first polymer chains are placed in a large box and then 600 water molecules and 40 hydronium ions are added and then energy minimization process will be undergo and then 5 second annealing process in APT assemble and simulated cell is relaxed with an NVT ensemble and then data is collected at the end of the simulation. The difference between NPT and NVT is NPT is constant in pressure where NVT is constant in volume. All right. For result and discussion, first in manual construction of PA membrane. So as for monomer, a long uniform multiple tetrahedron chain is successfully gained and no unwater bond connected between atoms. Okay, as you can see here, this is the monomer of do, nafion, and acetex. As we uh, this is the polar side chain, the polar side chain, and we can see the do has the shortest polar side chain among the three members. Uh, it's followed by nafion, and acetex has the longest polar side chain uh, and has the highest uh, number of atoms, which is sixty one atoms. And then after constructed the monomer, and then we will be, uh, we will grow the uh, PEM membrane. So for one PEM membrane, it consists of four polymer chain, four polymer chain, and then each polymer chain, this one, each polymer chain will be consists of one, two, three until ten monomers. All right. Okay, after we construct it, uh, after we construct it, and then we will undergo energy minimization process. Okay, this is the morphology of an optimized uh, electrolyte membrane cell in a time step of 70,000 femtosecond at 300 Kelvin. As we can see here, water molecule and hydronium ion are far apart from each other, while PM membrane are unfolded. Okay, for water molecule and hydronium ion is the red one, while the PM membrane uh, is the um, is the yellow one okay then potential energy and space volume will be higher and the atom stability will become lower however after the energy minimization process all right as you can see here the simulation here the water molecules will be close towards each other while the PM membrane the yellow one will become multiple folding and then the potential energy and space volume will become lower and thus the sterility of atom will become higher all right okay this is the comparison of total potential energy of two nafion and also aciplex as we can see here the aciplex has the highest potential energy due to its longer side chain length Okay, as you can see here, uh, the gradient of do and nafion is already uh, in stable state. Okay, it's already in stable state. However, for acetex, we can see the gradient is still decreasing. It means that it is still not uh, reached a stable state yet. Thus, 
uh, it require a longer time as compared to others, it requires a longer time to reach a stable state. Thus, um, 300,000 femtosecond of time step has been added for ICPLEX in order to make it reach a stable state. Okay, at the end of this step, each atom finds a stable position and each membrane has been successfully achieved. Right. Okay, then for five step annealing process, okay, the total energy of Nafion, Do, and ICPLEX has been slowly reduced and lower than the initial total energy before the annealing. Okay, this finding means that after the energy minimization process, the total energy of a simulated cell can still be reduced by the annealing process, thereby creating a cell that contains a much higher stable configuration than before the process. As you can see here, this is the first step annealing process, the first step, second step, and the, the, the last step. All right. This is the total energy reduction in K calorie over mole. We can see that ICPEX has the highest total energy reduction uh, is followed by Nafion and also do. Okay, as we can see here, the, the before and after, we can see it still has the uh, little reduction in total energy. All right. Okay, in energy process also, atoms are much freer to move in the cell, this one, yet contain the lowest energy and highest stability. Change in cell volume is due to the contraction and expanding process during the energy process, correct? Okay, after that, uh, the density of PEM membrane at different temperature, at different temperature is conducted uh, in 300 Kelvin or also 350 Kelvin. As you can see here, uh, the value of the density is um, the, the longer the side chain, the longer the side chain, the density will become higher. However, if the temperature increase from 300 Kelvin to 350 Kelvin, as we can see here, the density will, will be reduced. So after that, um, this is the comparison of density value uh, from this project and also the previous project. Okay, this is our project. Okay, by this data, we can see that density data gained from this project is in the correct range. It means it, it is uh, in the correct range and has an acceptable density value for all electrolyte membrane as compared to other research. All right. Okay, for diffusion coefficient of hydronium ion at different temperature is conducted at 300 Kelvin and 350 Kelvin also. Okay, this is the morphology of ion diffusion coefficient. As, as you can see, the ion is the red one. Try to diffuse uh, inside the membrane, which is the yellow one. Okay, this is the MSD. The MSD uh, is needed uh, in order uh, to calculate the diffusion coefficient of hydronium ion by its, uh, by its gradient. All right. Okay, so at 300 Kelvin, Nafion has the highest diffusion coefficient of hydronium ion. Okay, this is Nafion, the blue one. Okay, this is due to the stronger electrostatic attraction between hydronium ion and saponin and group. Okay, but for 350 Kelvin, the diffusion coefficient of hydronium ion is acetax, which is the green one, has risen significantly and surpassed the Nafion. All right, this is due to an optimal side chain length at 350 Kelvin to promote the capacity of proton exchange in PM membrane. So overall, as we can see here, the comparison between 300 Kelvin and 350 Kelvin, okay, all diffusion coefficient of hydronium ion in each moment have increased as the temperature rose. Okay, the higher diffusion coefficient of ion significantly impacts the efficiency of proton transport and thus the performance of PMMC. Okay, to summarize, a uniform tetrahedral shape has been successfully been manually constructed throughout an entire polymer chain that resembles a membrane. In energy minimization process, the longer such chain length of a membrane leads to higher potential energy created. Then a higher energy system requires a more time step to reach a stable state. Okay, then the total energy of a simulated cell can still be reduced by the annealing process, thereby creating a cell that contains a much higher stable configuration than energy minimization. Okay, then the longer the side chain length, the higher the density and ion diffusion coefficient. Okay, then as the temperature increase, the density of PM membrane decreases while the ion diffusion coefficient increase. Okay, some recommendation is the molecular damage study should be done further towards full PMFC parts includes catalyst and gas diffusion layers instead of membrane part only. The high performance computer is essential in order to cut time requirement of each simulation, thus easy and faster data collection. So that's it also. Uh, that's it all for me. Thank you very much.